Welcome to today's video. So excited to try this new fa fragrance. So it's sparkling watermelon. I'm going to do a um, sparkling watermelon swirl soap. Um, and I've got some new mica, just like a rose gold, which looks super pretty. It's a bit hard to tell at this angle, um, but really, really pretty. I've got some fruit green mica too, um, which is really, really pretty and green. And I've got, of course, our goat's milk melt and pour soap, um, Aussie candle supplies. So really excited to give this one a go. Um, let's get started, hey? Okay, so we've divided the goat's milk into three. I've got one that's quite a bit larger uh, with more goat's milk than the other. And then I've got a couple of smaller ones in there um, and they've all melted down really nicely. Just waiting for them to cool. Now we're going to add our colouring and our fragrance into our soap base. Alrighty. So we've got our plain. We have our mica green. I think it's got like fruit green or something actually. Um, and then we've got like a pinky colour um, mica. It's a bit hard to tell. Maybe in that light's a bit better. But um, yeah, they're looking pretty nice. I think it's time to get pouring. Pouring. Just do a little bit of the plain goat's milk to start with and then I think we'll go in with some of the pink. You guys can see that in there, okay. Oh, that's looking pretty. Won't do a lot just yet, we'll just do a little bit and then we'll go in with a bit of the <laughs> little one in the background. Then we'll go with a bit of the green. Yeah, awesome. Alrighty, and then we'll keep layering. We'll come back at the end. Okay, so we've done a couple of pours so far and look at that, there's like some little gold sparkle specks in there too, um, which you can't really pick up in there, but coming through the soap, it's looking pretty good. Alrighty, so we've done, um, we've finished our goat's milk watermelon, sparkling watermelon um, soap. So we've got some swirls happening in there. We won't know what it'll look like until it's cut, um, but it's all finished and poured. So I've done a little sample here. I don't know if you can catch um, like the little sparkles in there too, even if I angle it a little bit differently, kind of like in the middle here, you can sort of see the sparkles a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That kind of helps if I put some bit of, yeah, you can kind of speed see the sparkles in there. Um, but yeah, so we'll let it set. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll, um, and mold and cut.